welcome, welcome to episode 58 of the Optic Podcast. Trying to, we're, we're trying a new nice. setup. This is a podcast room. We have a lot of a lot of work to do though, because every single time that we there's like a reverb. Uh, you probably can't hear, but is it a reverb? You sound guy. Echo. A delay. Just a little or echo. Or an echo. What would, what would you do, Nick, if you were in the program right now and you had something like that going on? What would you do to fix? I it would that? literally. Am I am I Nick in this question? No, oh, but oh. you're you, so Nick you're going to tell us regardless. Jesus, Hector, it's <laughs> not always about you. <laughs> I don't really know. It's nothing you can really do to stop like reverb. Yeah, one hundred percent. I would literally grab one of the Olivia's reverb, reverb off. I would I would grab one of Olivia's hundreds of Pokemon plush toys and put it in that corner, staple it, and then I'm done. He's <laughs> straight up. Kill Charizard <laughs> for a little did. less echo. Yeah, Staple can't Charizard. relate. I did, I did. Jackie boy, have you been home for a while? Where have you been? I'm back. Yes, I. Uh, we had Anaheim, which I was. Well, we had the Optic Arena, then E3, then Anaheim, then we went from Anaheim back to Jersey, mm-hmm. which was my sister's high school graduation. Mm-hmm. The following weekend was her party, so I was like, "Well, I'm just going to stay here for it." Uh, and then, so you went to a high school party. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was partying with a bunch of high schoolers. It was so dope. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, finally went to a high school party because I didn't get to go to them when I was in high school. So. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Didn't listen to a word I said. No, I didn't. I was like, I was, I was Sorry. thinking, I was like thinking of. Uh, of hey, it doesn't matter. Um, so, did you, did you enjoy your time? I mean, obviously, you kept on working. Yes. Yes. Haven't stopped, but uh, I did enjoy my time home. So, my mom has to get a couple surgeries done on our hips. So, I might go home again just to yeah. help out later on this month. Um, but it was a lot of fun. That's the best part having two setups. You know, you know who you, I, I hope that one day somebody has the, the, the valor, the, the courage, no pun intended Thank you. to create a YouTube channel of just contagious laughter because your dad has one of those laughs where you just, <laughs> what was it? What were you telling me the story about? I, mean, I don't know if you want to repeat it, but like your, your sister got home hung over or something and your dad's kept on like picking at her. Listen, yeah, there was, she got in some trouble. My dad just wouldn't stop bothering her with, from the living room. He would send her, he, he was going like, Kelly, please, please forgive me. And like, my dad is six foot three, like 325. <laughs> Yeah, my mom's in the background dying, and he's, like, trying to, like, be all – he's just being so annoying. And he's just – he's one of those guys that, like – he's a very emotional person in regards to he could cry if you show him anything. Yeah. Or laugh. They could laugh forever. My dad gets a couple drinks at him. He literally doesn't stop laughing. Yeah. And it's the best thing ever. Awesome. It's like It's like, it's like, uh, it's like therapy. Uh, in, in, in all the years that you've been working on YouTube and seeing everything around, who has the most contagious laughter in your opinion? I can tell you my period done. I'm just um, not even thinking about it. I think I would have to say, I don't know, maybe Shaz. I think I think Shaz. Shazam. Shazam. Uh, damn, I forgot about him. Yeah, because it's either Shazam. well, that sucks because he hasn't forgotten about you, and he's right down the street. Okay. Wow. I didn't. <laughs> wow. Damn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead, go, ahead. <laughs> go play more solo. I was th- besides him. <clears throat> I was thinking. For some reason, Nade shot. I was yeah. thinking Nade too. Like that, yep. Dude, that that's, came that's up. crazy. Because I was just thinking that I think one of the things that separates Optic or separated Optic and continues to separate Optic is just the the amount of contagious laughter that comes within. Like, if like Bose, you and Nade, like all laughing together in those old school videos, like th- those are like all contagious laugh. Like you guys all have contagious laughter. I say Shazam still, but the reason that I brought that up is because uh, is, uh, we'll go into details, but we went to, to a bachelor party for Fwiz's bachelor party in Miami, and I don't know what happened, but Nate started laughing, bro, and and <laughs> it, it, it took all but three seconds for me to just start crying with him, just like laughing. And I thought I'm like, I'm like, man, how many people have that sort of contagious laughter yeah, that, I, that, I mean, that brings people? And then I saw you, and then I remember the video that you showed me of your dad, oh. and I was like. I love that, bro. Like, I literally cry. I could just, and I said that. I hope somebody has the valor and the honor to one day, like, honor, to, to one day make that. Because if I'm ever feeling like shit, go to it. Go to it and start fucking laughing. And it's crying. like those military homecoming videos. They just go and, like, you watch one and you watch 40 of them because they make you feel good. And oh, yeah. my God. I'm like, they laugh when they. <laughs> oh, no, no. But, <laughs> uh, not the ones I've seen. But, no, the, the, uh, I mean, I, I still think when, when we played, I think the hardest I've ever laughed at a contagious laughter was. When we played the, the the fighting game, like a couple months ago, oh, Beast. Yeah. Gang, uh, yeah, Beast. gang Beast and Bose would just start going. And <laughs> when it, dude, when he just goes, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're like, what is that sound he just hit? <laughs> and then I'm just done. Th- those kill me. Yeah, that's uh, he's definitely up there for me. Yeah, bro. that's crazy. So we won't turn this into a, a Fortnite. 
podcast again, but ranked number what in the world did I just hear? Only in kills. I have the 22nd, or I'm ranked 22nd for most kills in season four. And in, in squads only. I won a game uh, the but other I day. But I played a lot. I course. haven't played. <laughs> I haven't played. <laughs> Dude. I have I have not played uh, Fortnite in close to three weeks. Four weeks. You'll Four never, weeks. I'm still buying the. Out. I'm still buying the skins because I have my iPhone. But the the thing is that my uh, I had I had um, and Mario. If you're watching this, don't feel bad. But I had my godson, his brother and sister over. They they came to visit, and they went into my office and they left the <laughs> the attic door open. I have a de- an attic in, in, in inside my closet. So what happened? Okay is that they left it open through the night and all the heat, Texas heat that was accumulated in the in the in the attic kept on pumping into my into my office. So the thermostat's like, holy shit, it's hot as fuck. Like let me send a signal to to the to the what is it? AC number three at my house to you know to pump air into that wing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> pump <laughs> air into yeah. that wing. Go, no, I'm kidding. Three. kidding, kidding. But that's what happened. So all the heat kept on coming in, and the thermostat's like, "Holy shit, I can't beat this! I can't beat." And then the the AC started working overtime, and it broke. So that extended my my non ability to do that, and we had to replace the entire thing, which is like the worst. So I haven't been able to be in my office. Okay, I haven't been moved into my real office. Like I've literally have been spending all of my hours, and the reason why there's no vlog, I've been spending all my hours inside in, in my theater room, where it's you know 73 degrees and comfy dark your life sounds yeah. terrible yeah, it's really rough yeah. who can <laughs> save me who will rescue thy once hero sorry <laughs> it's That's awfully sad. warm and wing c <laughs> poor life of me right i'm sick of this guy already first day back well it sucks can you imagine if i wanted to go to the pool it's like it takes 10 minutes to get there I'm kidding. Totally joking. All right, let's uh, let's 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 get into the real podcast. We have a lot of serious topics to discuss. You know, mm. Scorpion just dropped. Drake, you know, yeah. I, I the goat. This is this is yeah, my yeah. brother. I I like him a lot. A lot. I do. I haven't had a chance to listen to him or the new album because I overheard it in the background at the at, at the bachelor party. They played it nonstop. It was oh, on repeat. I mean, if you get. If you get Fwiz and Nade in a room uh, and yeah. new Drake music's on, I mean, I I, pl- I, I played it literally nonstop. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think, not uh, to sound fanboyish, but I don't think I've listened to anything else since it came same. out. Yeah. I'm actually not even kidding. When I flew back down here, I literally just played, from. I just clicked the first song, let it run through, and then clicked it again yeah, and let it run through That's again. what I do. Really? Yeah. I, I cannot I cannot tell you one hook or one catchy but it part happens about it. That, I do that with a lot of albums. I did that with the, the I feel like Hex- Yay album that just <laughs> dropped. I did it with uh, Post's album when that came out. And that's just how I am. I'm not. I, it's not just with Drake music, yeah, but it's, it way. is especially with Drake music. What are you gonna say? I you feel think- like Hex isn't going to like the album that much. I don't think he likes Side B at all. Here's the thing. I don't think yeah. Side B is his type of music, but then I also think he'll just be like, Wow, this is just worse rapping than Wu Tang Clan. You want to listen to real rap? Go listen to this. When, 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 when did I become a Texas farmer? <laughs> uh, just Wu Tang fan. Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, Wu Tang Clan strikes again. Anyway, so what? What do you? Why? What's side B? Is that the the R and B side? Yeah, I fuck with R and B. One's rap, one's R and B. Yeah, well, but you well, fuck I, I one's R and B, and the other one is, you know, songs. You, sure. Yeah. You Pretty fuck much. no. You I don't think you like, but you you don't like like sad R and B. You like happy R and B. No, I like I like the R and B that 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 you you know like like the Jodeci. You know what I'm saying? Like boys the like men. the genuine, the boys to men. That real R and B that says girl. <laughs> Little Ja Rule. I, no, I never liked Ja Rule. <laughs> but he's R and B. And, and 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 I don't give a fuck about my baby. I thought of that. No, and then, <laughs> that was actually pretty that good. That was really good. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, you should you should hear my DMX, but I don't. I just just like uh huh. What what I'm saying though is that I don't. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that sometimes I wonder myself. Look, this, what what is grown man crying, man? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like the the R and B that I that I used to was like. Let me lick you up and down <laughs> yeah. till you say stop. Yeah. yeah. 
Let me play with your body. Okay, I won't, I won't go into but it. See, but yeah, not this, not like, not not this whole. Wow, you left me. Uh, wah, that's and then, pretty wah. much R and B now. Yeah, I'd it, say it now R and B is just like wow, you left me. Back then it was like, I think like every once just in a while talking Whoa. about having sex. I just yeah. had a real eye opening thing. Has Drake changed the R and B game more than the rap game? Mm, I think equally. Because, be honest, with, with this whole R and B stuff with the sat, like that is Drake. I think at the pioneer of that, especially in the last five, five like seven years. Yeah, well, you, you, he, this he, is he, this is how I know. <laughs> this is how I know that I was I was I was getting a little bit too too into it because I I, I texted both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I texted both of them an, an image a a a, a, a meme. And no, none of them replied, and none of them put like dot dot haha or you know double click like yeah. laughed at it. They ignored it completely. And I'm like I'm like oh, wow. like like you offended them or sort of thing. Yeah, or? but the thing is, is like I I'm I've always been, and, and this just is the way that I am. I I never I, I let people do what they want as long as they're not harming it. Like I don't care if he listens to whatever. I'll talk a little bit of shit, but like truly don't care, and I won't judge yeah. somebody for that, right? Because I was listening to Billy Joel on the you know on my in my seat. On, on the way to, to Miami I just liked all music uh, but the fact that they didn't reply to me I was like I touched I, I well I didn't reply because I had already seen it Did and you really? I was streaming at why the time you, why don't you s- send it to me I like funny memes well I t- I don't know sorry it was like a it was like people that listen to Drake like and then it was like a I'll show it to you. Yeah, I'll show it's it to like you. Pretty ex- Let me show it to yeah. you. Explicit image. I don't know how you could explain it without not being able to explain it. Yeah, you've I think I've seen it. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen it's, what you're talking about. It's a guy getting yeah, dominated. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I've yeah. Seen it. yeah, which is nothing wrong with that. Like Some people are into that. Yeah. You know? Anyway. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's all the same, but... Oh, uh, this is what I brought up with them in the car. Did you hear the, the streaming numbers for Scorpion the first day? Were like, they bigger than yours? Oh... <laughs> <laughs> it's all fast growing channel on Twitch, but um, the streaming numbers for Beer Bongs and Bentleys, Post Malone's album, was like, I think it was like 78 million, which was like far and away the most yeah. in one day. Yeah. Um, and it was like, dang, what's going to break that? Scorpion comes out, 132 million on Spotify. He yeah. had every single one of the top 25 songs on Apple Music. Like, literally, the entire album was just number one. Um, there wasn't any Despacito that was above it, which was reigning in the top forever. Like he just took over everything. Yeah, and you would expect that from him. Like I do think that he's like he's gonna be one of the greatest artists of any generation. Period. Isn't it he's, sucks? Like, he's, like, he's like a Michael Jackson uh, in terms of like the what life is simulation. Life is. <laughs> I was literally <sighs> what what. Yeah, that's crazy. We were just in the car here. We were in the car here. I was literally just talking about that. Like. I like quote like every once in a while we like text about that and it's usually at like 5 a.m. and it's all capital letters. So Nick's like here, I'm going to show you like what it looks like. That. <laughs> so, yeah, this is copy paste, right? No, no, no. It's oh not. It's me freaking out at 5 a.m. But he does it worse than I do usually. But this I actually did it this time. Yeah. And I was I, I somewhere in there. I can't I was going to see if I could just read it, but I, I definitely can't. Because I say some weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I said, like, um, something like, uh, these kids on Twitter, they just don't get it. And then I was like, if Mike, if Twitter was around when Michael Jackson was around, yeah. they would call him overrated. Yeah. And I feel like it's true. Yeah. I feel like and there's so many things in our generation that are so cool that, <clears throat> but we live in the age of social media that it's so cool to hate on things. It's so cool to be yeah. different. 100%. So, like... You see LeBron James play, and you're just like, "Oh, he's not even that good." Mm-hmm. But it's like, why don't we? Appro- I, I don't. I'm not a LeBron James fan. I just enjoy the fact that he's the best right now. Of this generation, yeah. Yeah, and then you know, same with, <laughs> <laughs> same with. I mean, same with Drake. Same with you know a, a lot of different you know athletes and and artists that are happening right now. It's crazy. This is so, and so maybe. it's weird that you would say the Michael Jackson thing. That's why well, we all I mean, he was literally just looking at the text on his phone. I li- which... Like right before you said that, yeah. I, I read the text to see if I could read it. That is weird, it, and it's not that it's weird. It's just that, it, and this will, you know, how people finish each, each other's sentences. Yeah. What's happening is that your Damn. brain is evolving to a to a place where it's going to be telepathically, right, that you communicate. Because how often, like, think about athletes and think about like even with with like 
just knowing and thinking like, are we going too deep here that's where we're getting we're getting to a place where oh, no, you're not even a look a, a look <laughs> a, a look of communication will will take care Westworld. of Westworld go watch Westworld season 2 it gets into a little bit of that not yet uh, not yet but I'm going to I just started so what I do and everybody knows this what I do is is, and I'll be done by the time this vlog, this this comes out I'll be done so don't try to spoil anything because you might spoil it for somebody else don't be a hater you are literally the worst kind of person to ruin something like that <laughs> I had the Gears of War okay. three or two campaign spoiled by one of my best friends. He told me that Dom died in it, and I still haven't forgiven him since. Well, you just spoiled it. Yeah, you spoiled it for me. It's been 10 years. I'm in the middle of Gears of War 2. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was just about to yeah. do the walk. Through. Have you ever played a Gears game? <laughs> what? Have you ever played a Gears game? Mm -mm. I hunted monsters once. I did the horde thing where like they come at you. Horde mode. What if GTA has, has a mode where it's a horror mode? And you have like all these male prostitutes and female prostitutes coming after you, and you have to like convert them. You know what I'm saying? Help them get jobs. And shit. Throw Bibles at them. No that offense. Like I mean, it's a, it's a job. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. That was, sounds like the worst game mode I've ever heard. That sounds like something I would never. When you're driving like the speed limit, <laughs> driving them to like a haircut in place. <laughs> to blink your sign and finally. Yeah, it sounds like the worst thing ever. But this this is what I was gonna bring up when you were talking about the whole LeBron thing. And I know you get very passionate about it, but I, uh, from everything I've seen, has there been an athlete that has lived up to the expectation that? he was put up to and succeeded the way that he has in the history of sport. No. Literally, Never. like, he was regarded as a prodigy. Turn, goes to high school, goes right into the game, mm -hmm. and, like, when you go and, like, look at the stats, like, literally has made his team a playoff contender. Did you see the, the stat about the Cavs this year? They went from, like, a 12-1 to 1 odds of winning the finals to 500-1 to 1 with him just leaving. Yeah. It went from, like, 97% making yeah. the finals yeah. to 1.2%. 1,000%. With just one move. And I think that that's the difference between like our generation, like people around my age, is that is that like, well, did you watch Jordan play in college? I I I've always like been, I never really knew like what oh, that was. No, like. because internet and television didn't exist when he was in college. Well, television existed, <laughs> but it wasn't broadcasted the way that it is right now. There was no, yeah, yeah. I don't even remember whether or not it was like the 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 Big Ten or the you know what I'm saying, like well, any of that broadcast. Because I I I um. Obviously, I grew up in Raleigh, so uh, he went to. That's what I don't. Go he went to UNC, and so you know, I, I've I've been to, the, I've seen his retired jersey like hung up, and like it's 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 pretty dope, like it's super dope. Um, but from my understanding, like what my dad used to tell me and stuff is that he like Jordan like blew up in the pros, and like that's when he was just like, holy shit, like he is the best. Mm -hmm. And it's like with with uh, LeBron James, it was like our generation kind of heard of this this high school kid and then all the media all the, like the press was following this kid in high school mm -hmm. and then he went to the pros and somehow he's just gotten even better and like i don't know i i it's, i think that's why like i guess there's like such an attachment to yeah well, him. Well, i don't know I don't no know no I, I i know exactly what you're saying and, and to be clear <laughs> just like you know i'm i don't hate lebron james <laughs> I hate when people say that LeBron James is better than Michael. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And that's just me being hard. Uh, wh whether I'm right or not, which I am, doesn't matter. It shouldn't <laughs> be. Shouldn't be up for discussion. Uh, but I, I, I do think that you know the internet has allowed a lot of people, including us, to be able to have a platform where people become, you know, where people know you and they, they, they kind of have like this, this, this like relationship with you because they, they, they relate. Right, so like I, I, I do think that the internet has allowed you know LeBron. LeBron's about to be the. Ooh, he could have. I think he could have been the the first, the second billion dollar athlete, um, if if he would have gotten a better contract. I, I believe out of because he got one hundred fifty four million for how many years? Wait, who's the first billion? Jordan. Yes. Yeah, Jordan. yeah, but that wasn't that wasn't until like recently, right? Uh, like five no, years ago yeah, or something. Five years ago. I mean, that's like right now the most the, the highest earning artist in the last five years of music was. You'd be like, oh, it's got to be Beyonce or, or Jay Z or Taylor Swift or Drake. No, it's it's. Um, Dr. Dre because he sold his beats to Apple for yeah, two no, million dollars. Yeah, no, but yeah, the, I mean they but categorize like them. As a, I know thing. what you mean. Yeah, like, that, I feel like that's similar to how Jordan was with his shoe deal. You know, like, um, and by the way, Drake Drake's line on, on the new album of "Got a shoe deal without breaking a sweat" is fire because literally, the man got a shoe deal just because of how much clout he has with OBO and Jordan. Yeah, and he never broke a sweat. He had to play, had to play a minute. Yeah, well, of basketball. I mean, Yeezy. 
but he didn't you know he but it's just it's, it's just a cool line no i do what what and and this is why i always give props to to like oh look it, it's really easy for me to say the, the first people that you know <laughs> i'm gonna give props to is run dmc because they got the first adidas deal and they paved the way for that but yeezy actually changed the, yeezy actually disrupted the shoe game because he made not only fans of a shoe but made high beasts out of out of shoe collectors, some shoe collectors, and some people that don't even collect the shoes. I mean, he also literally Adidas. Uh, I think Adidas has never had such a good investment in their right. whole career. He, they literally went from not being able to contend with Nike to, yeah, Nike's still at the top, but yeah. But as far as like millennials are concerned, people want Yeezys. Is Michael Jordan like a shoe head? How is like every single Jordan shoe like fire? Not all of them. No, they <laughs> stop at like five. <laughs> After, don't get me started. Okay, like even I'm sure even there's a lot of ugly ones. No, yeah, I'm even, not a shoe head, so I don't really know. Yeah. But like, no, no, Jordan's he's got good designers. Fire. It's just like everything else. He's got good designers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it is just what it is. Like you might have a better idea of like create, for example, right? Like you see everybody's merch, and then you see create has a better merch line than everybody else because he's a graphic. You know, he has graphic people like reinventing that sort of yeah. that sort of thing. You know what I'm saying, but that's uh, crazy, man. But but you have you have Jordan necess- the Jordan shoes and and Matlock, rapper from Chicago, says like my style gets uglier every year, like you know like Air Jordans. And he made a rhyme obviously, but it was it was like such a good rhyme because it's true. At at one point they just kept on getting fucking uglier. Like have you seen the Jordan, 19s? <laughs> Wait, which I, I haven't. I, I haven't think I feel like I've been Jordans since like I've had some ugly Jordans. I've or never I'm, had. A I pair. have one pair in my head. I want a pair because I've never had a pair. And, yeah, those are oh, bad. No, not those. Those yeah, are real bad. Disgusting. But but he, it doesn't even matter because people people like me who just bought this, the one just because of the different colorway, it's just reselling. And and the and the in the in the crying Jordan, uh, meme is like it, it's every year it's like thank you for continuing to buy my fucking shoes oh, it's, 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 every it's, fucking year that's why people say something's timeless yeah I think it's an example of a timeless shoe you know or a timeless style or something that will always be around I can't think of more off the top of my head but yeah that's an example of something that's timeless that will always have popularity see that's why I'm confused about the Le- LeBron billion dollar thing like how how does Jordan play you know his whole career and then he you know goes Obviously, his shoe deal, which happened while he was playing, and and then he afterwards he's done like like car dealerships and and business well, different things, and then now he's just now a billionaire. So how is LeBron even close? Well, how much did well, Jordan make in the NBA compared to that LeBron? That is true. That is true. Yeah, and well, also that's, I think that, that's also think about broadcasting rights, right? Like that the NBA capitalizes on in in ten years. Now that now that the NBA is going to take, I think one percent of every gamble on NBA games that happens legally, the next Jeez. the next generation of basketball players are going to are going to holy shit are, are going to be richer and and yeah. and wealthier than that's true. I, I hadn't even thought. But about then that. I, I think I think LeBron's Nike deal is. A billion dollar deal. Yeah, it's a lifetime. It's a lifetime. Like LeBron billion. is locked in for life with Nike, and it's like over a billion dollars his his deal with them. Yeah, because I guess yeah that yeah that makes so much more sense because like, he even yeah. has stuff with Samsung too, like yeah. that. Like, Haynes, okay, with Michael Jordan, that's that that's you know everybody needs underwear. You know what I'm saying? But the thing the thing that that, that is is like how many Space Jam. Think about think about team Team Jordan, right? Well, the Space Jam's about to happen again with with LeBron, but is think, it though? Because I heard that rumor when I was in high school. Wait, what? My senior year of high school, I saw an image. Don't, don't do it, LeBron. I've heard those rumors yeah. <laughs> yeah. forever, too. Yeah. Okay. Don't do it, LeBron. But that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I know. If there was ever <laughs> anyone, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can Okay, the thing but is... But, like, that's either. such a bad look for LeBron. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why is it? I, I, to, I, I, I like... Agree. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just tell me, tell me base, why. He's Maybe. basically acting like Michael Jordan. Yeah, the yeah, sequel's never better than the first. And now he's just going to be in the sequel Unless of Toy Space Story Jam. Two. <laughs> get fucked. Black Ops Two. Get fucked. <clears throat> Halo Two. Ooh. Okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> Number Starcraft Two. two. No, I don't think for many people know. Really? Modern Warfare Two. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity War. <laughs> two. Two. Infinite Warfare Two. Infinite Warfare Two. Let's go, baby. I can't wait. Uh, Imagine. Yeah. So. 
LeBron's LeBron's shoe deal with Nike, or just it's not just shoe. It's, it's oh, oh, over arch. It's a 360. I believe it's a 360 deal for anything that's yeah. that. It's one billion dollars. Damn. Okay, but you gotta oh, you gotta shit. think about. Imagine signing that contract. Imagine him being there with his <laughs> fifteen, the bee. 15 people on his team, and then there's Nike, and you just it's like okay, LeBron, and go ahead and write down get this one final read through, and you just look, and it's just like lifetime payment one zero 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 dash zero 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 comma zero 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 and you're like Jeez, my dude. kids don't have to do anything my kids kids don't have to do anything <laughs> my kids 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 don't have to do anything my kids 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 yeah. kids kids don't have to do anything and their and, kids, kids and kids. it's like you can't like obviously you can say it's because he just you know got the right genes but he like his work ethic even now is insane like if you like Li- listen to his like any oh. teammates that play with him it's if you if you get there if you get to practice 30 minutes early you know lebron's already been there for an hour and then he'll be like why did you just you know, get here you're late even though they're 30 minutes early it's just like the man was in his 15th year this year at 33 and literally ran more than every other player in the league but one person and played more minutes he's had 20 he's missed 20 games in his entire career He's been playing for 15 years. Damn. I like get like what? And it's he How went, you get <clears throat> hurt when he was on the something. heat. I think it was when he was on the heat. <clears throat> he like got a personal trainer and went on a like a like insanely strict diet and then started working out more and then had like like I was just I was just watching it and I was like how, how like how do you have you know you're already there. Yeah. And you just want to push it even further. Like I mean, that's I, just I, crazy. I, I, for me, I feel like that also just comes down to <clears throat> to the legacy, but then also it, so it, it's got to chew away at his ego. The whole, and I know like you could say everything, but at the end of the day, everyone has an ego. It's got to chew away a little bit that all the stuff he's done, the number one praise people can give him is you're try, you're, you're up there as one of the greats, but we can't say if you're better than Michael Jordan. I feel like LeBron in his head though, thinks he's the best of all time. I feel like he's convinced in his head. Yeah, but I, what, so I mean, I'm convinced I'm the best me or period that I've ever the best snipers. That no one's gonna convince me otherwise. For called before. Well, people look back <laughs> 20 years from now, 30 years from now on on the career and literally go, okay, you know, the Golden State Warriors went on to win seven championships in a row. What could LeBron have done? Like, I mean, what realistically, like, people, what people what could Jordan point, have done? Right? Uh, uh, you think Jordan to, would have dropped 50? For the loss, could it probably not? Someone someone tweeted this yesterday. You take the Eastern Conference All Star team, they could not beat the Warriors starting five with Boogie Cousins on it now. That that's absurd. Wow. I mean, the commissioner has Holy to shit. the commissioner has to step in at some point. But the fact that Boogie Cousins and it doesn't get blocked by the NBA yeah, commissioner, how why didn't it? Right? It's, a, it's there's been things blocked for way less in sports before. They do it all the time in baseball because you can't do X amount of AAA stars on a team. They literally just think got- about <coughs> think about this. Who's who's gonna get carried on that team, and who's not gonna be the star on that team? Because this is inevitably gonna happen. And I'm not comparing the two, but think about the player that Karma is and what he hasn't been able to do because he's got three other superstars next to him, like for yeah. the past week. Is the same thing. Same thing that's gonna happen. You're gonna you're gonna see. I would imagine that you're gonna see like someone's, you know point average going down because they're not going to get as much ball yeah. time as possible. We were just talking about the, the missed rebound is now is, is no longer going to be missed, which means that that missed rebound that led to a, a three from uh, from Curry is no longer going to happen. You, if I'm Steph Curry, I'm not shooting anything but a three next year, by the way, just to be clear. I'm not even driving the lane. I'm just yeah, yeah. I'm either just passing it down to KD or Boogie Cousins, and they're going to handle it all, or I'm just going to shoot a three from 40 feet out and not care. And, like, what are they going to say? <laughs> We're not going to get the rebound. Why, think, what, they the might rebound? go undefeated next year. I mean, imagine just, if they go undefeated. That's the imagine they just video? don't drop a game the whole time. I think they should. Fuck it, just go for it. They should. Yeah, they I'll, should I'll cheer them on. That Stephen A. Smith video in the plane last night, where you could just see how disappointed he is. They literally got the one upgrade they could in the NBA. Apparently, Dwight Howard was like trying to get on the team, and they were like, "What? No, nah, we want to one up that." See, how yeah, we would, even enjoy that. Yeah, we were just like, talking about it, and like. Like when when Durant's on the team and people are like, oh yeah, Durant like ruined the NBA. It's like, you know, the Warriors fans are still just like, oh like, that they'll have some. Oh like, yeah, they were all drafted or something. Yeah, they were all drafted besides Durant. Like stop. Like they'll they'll have like you know arguments and they'll they'll fire back. 
but like with this with this now it's it's you gotta you gotta think you gotta feel kind of like sorry for warriors fans because now they have nothing they have no room they have no like foot to stand on they like if i was a warriors fan i'd be like wow you know what they should do this isn't gonna be a fun year to watch if i'm the nba and like we we say like oh why don't they block it (laughs) If I'm Adam Silver, I go, okay, you guys can do this. Only if you all sign a contract that says if we don't win the NBA championship next year, then we're all – our time is done in the league. <laughs> Imagine they put those stakes on it. Then I would be interested. I would watch Then that. I'd be like, okay, fine, yeah. Because <laughs> if these guys actually lose, they're all out of the NBA. But, like, that's actually the point that they're at now. Yeah. It, it actually makes no sense. Like, well, the odds before he signed the one-year deal. They just swept the finals. And now they're about to and add got- the best center in the league. <laughs> all right, look. The LeBron versus Michael Jordan debate is over. Jordan never put so much fear into a team that they went and created a five all-star team just to make sure that they would beat him. Somebody tweeted that, and I said, Jesus, because think about that, right? He got so close. LBJ did. With a, what if they won again, though? Oh, it's a whole different series. I mean, because then... Not, and not to make an injury excuse. Yeah. But he, he doesn't, he he doesn't, doesn't punch that hand. thing and break his hand. He, yeah, no, 100%. I, and, and I told Jude, I'm like, they would have gone the distance a thousand percent. What happened at the end? Who knows? Okay, but what 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 would have happened if, if, if uh, what's his name? If JR actually passed it to LeBron and he missed it? So same same result, but a different outcome. And nobody has these same thoughts because it, it, there's, there's, there, was, there, there wasn't closure to that game, unfortunately. And I, trust me, I don't know enough about all this stuff. Yeah, I barely follow a, a lot of sport just because of how busy I am. And, yeah. uh, but but for, for the way that that is all kind of played on out, yeah. I mean, the dude goes – and by the way, the 500 IQ plays, is talking about like dumping the bad contracts like earlier in the year in Cleveland, then him going to L.A. And then now they're like signing – like they've signed like four people in the last three days too to like add to this team. It's just fun. It's just crazy to see, man. I, I – NBA by far is the best league on social media. So Lonzo Ball and LeBron. Yep. Hell yeah. You're happy. Yeah. You're hype. I'm kind of hype for Lonzo. I, I just because he's like, I feel like yeah. he gets like bullied in the league, and now yeah. he's like, all right, yeah, now <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come on, come see yeah. you. Come see I mean, it is crazy. I'll see y'all in the finals. Like, and he's younger than us. Like, yeah. how nuts is that? Like, he's younger what than is he, us. Nineteen. And he's 20? playing. He's playing with LeBron. Like. He grew up watching LeBron, and now he's teaming with LeBron. What grade is LeBron's son in? Uh, he's 13 years old. He almost, so, you see him almost so done. He almost done. Yeah, so basically – oh, sorry. So here's the other thing. This contract ends the year before – the year of his son being eligible to get into the league. So no, please, LeBron, the, if no it does, way. LeBron can go to any – Team, team to play, to with, play with him. I would love that. There would be dude, what, that would be. What? Could you imagine? It's like, it's like crazy. And, 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 sorry. Let me let me let me also. If, I think it might be like maybe they win one year finals. difference, but still, it's a possibility. And then they win a fight. Can you fucking imagine? If that's not and look, I, I, we and, and, and Hitch, Hitch and I are on the same page on this one. Okay, if 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 you're if you're looking at the NBA as competition, and that's what it is, right? Fine, awesome. But imagine if you actually create like the content that needs to be created to make it twice as better. If they allow people to, to, you know, say what they want to say, I'm not going to say what, you know, Ben Simmons, for example, he was playing with, with another teammate and, and they're like, the dude's like, yo, I got to get off because we got practice tomorrow. And then Ben Simmons goes like, who, wait, who are you playing against? And then he's like, Atlanta. He's like, Oh, come on, man. You don't got to get off. <laughs> right. Like that got him in a, in a little bit of trouble or say he got talk- like, I don't know. Right. Ben Simmons doesn't get in trouble. He's Ben fucking Simmons. Yeah. But imagine if you are able to, to create the sort of like not YouTube videos, but sort of, sort of that, that the community behind the scenes, look at that. Right. The way that he told Seth that all his championships are just content for vision, <laughs> right? That's that's the sort of thing that that if you if you really look at the NBA and and are able to to think about how awesome of a story it would have been that LeBron you know played from the time that he that he got out of high school till the time that his son got out of high school, and that's the year that he retires for his son to take. That is mind blowing, yeah. like <laughs> fucking incredible for an opportunity for for a storyline there. And then also imagine this: next four years, Golden State wins. LeBron's son comes to the league. He joins with him. They then take down the Titans that are Golden State. He is retires. Done that one, retires after it. Yeah. But also think of this: that dude just went from Cleveland to L.A. What a city upgrade to have 
Did you see? How come you guys didn't reply to that one either? Wait, which one? The the one that that I said where it's like it's it's, it's Tupac in a Cleveland. I saw that one in the, in the chat. Yeah, it and is. You're like, like, damn, everyone's out of it, and we're like, we're. I just I don't reply when I'm streaming to anything. Yeah, I think how, I was why? streaming. Why? Yeah. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> no, but all right. So there's there's this meme out there that says there's like a picture of Tupac and uh, I gotta show I it to you. It's yeah, I I like I'd have to see it again. I went from it's like he took the lyrics from uh, from remember. Tupac. When Tupac said, "Hey, we doing this thing from Cleveland to L.A." Expletive, expletive. Yeah. <laughs> LeBron felt that shit. You know? <laughs> and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, look up uh, Bone and Tupac. What's the name of that? Do you guys know? Notor- it's not Notorious Thugs. That was with Biggie. Uh, <laughs> that's the problem, though. You're missing so much no, good yeah, rap, yeah. bro. I, I listen to Drake too. We're missing so much rap. What? What do you Just mean? Just kidding. No. Well, the thing is, like, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, like, you know how old folk only listen to classic rock, Scorpions, Air Supply, shit like that. That's what my dad listens to, right? My mom listens to Yanni and, and, uh, classic jazz. That's all they listen to, right? But that's not how I am. I listen to classical music, classical rap, but I also give this, this new thing a try. You don't, Jack. You don't have like a weird other music you listen to besides Drake? You don't... Uh, like, I feel like everyone might have, like, a weird thing. I don't... I, I do like, like, I I do love, like, the, like, Justin Timberlake's 2020 Experience album. I think it's... I, I still think it's actually one of the best albums I've ever heard in my in my life. I thought that album was so fire. And that's why I was so excited for his new stuff, but it's just a different sound. It's not the same yeah. vibe that is. But, like, Suit and Tie and, like... Drink you away. Those songs on that album are so good. I mean, I do like I, I like that type of song too, where it's it just like it's easy. I guess it's like easy to listen to. Like I I I, I like a uh, like a lot of Shawn Mendes's new album that he came out with too. Just just from giving it I don't know uh, one listen through as well. Oh, he's just I mean he's he I feel like he's like a a, a, a mini a, a mini Justin Timberlake. Fog love is the name of it. Sorry. L U V Thug L U V. <laughs> Listen to that right now. It's nasty. But I guess that would be like my my other type of music. My the, the music that I listen to that nobody would think that I listen to. Yeah. And you know, it's um Sam, Sam Smith. Smith. <laughs> Sam Smith. I, I listen to Sam uh-huh. Smith. Yeah. Bro, he's so good, bro. Uh, His, yeah. He is like good, good. I get behind I, I can listen to any type of good music, especially if it's an interesting person story behind it and someone that I is likable, you know, um, I was watching, I've been watching a ton of stuff now with like marshmallow and the other artists that he does the songs with, because he's, he's one of the most collaborative people now, like in yeah. this day and age, honestly, if you yeah. look, if you look at like his top songs, it's like, yeah. you just put him in with that artist and let's, and they kind of make their music and he caters to what works for them. And like they just make bangers. Like literally, yeah. look each one that he comes out with: Selena Gomez, Khalid, uh, uh, Anne Marie. Like they just come out with bangers, and then they, now they're just the top charts. Yeah, like it's 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 crazy to think that like we always put faces to names of like oh you know Post Malone, a top male artist; Ed Sheeran, a top male artist. Marshmallow literally gets as many plays on Spotify as they do, but obviously he's not the face of all the. He's just he, he's <laughs> like a, co- a collaborator with it. I tweeted, <laughs> obviously. It's a little extreme, but I tweeted whenever the album came out, like, you know, a few hours later, I tweeted, he's the best artist, artist of our generation. And I, I tweeted that knowing that I was going to trigger people, yeah. but people got fu- infuriated. Like, I can't believe somebody could actually think that like, this is why white people shouldn't have Twitter, <laughs> like, yeah. like saying crazy shit. And I was just, and, and then, and then I wanted to be like, obviously like this is a little extreme, but it would be, I think it's, I think it's worse to, to say that he's not in the running for it. Like, how could it be so, such a insane statement to make that, you know, Drake is the best art of, artist of our generation that you are like flabbergasted by it. Like who else could you put there? No one. Like, like I said, I mean, Michael like, Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Not, not, you can put him out there, yeah, but yeah. that's the sort of, that's the sort of following and, and status that he has right now. Would would Jay Z count as our generation? And that's the thing. People were saying, or "Oh, did Eminem like... die?" And I'm just like, "No, well, you can't. You can't compare them." Yeah, that, that's a different generation in my yeah, in yeah, my yeah. Okay. if if Eminem yeah. did nothing but 
uh, Forgot About Dre's or Stan or yeah, you know, those type, and only those types of songs. Yeah, then maybe you should compare. Them, and but that's Eminem also the did thing. It, yeah, that's also the, I I think Eminem is the best rapper to ever rap, but I haven't been imp- I haven't casually listened to Eminem's new songs since high school, like since Relapse is that or whatever came out after that. I don't I don't know. And in you, it's even worse. I don't think you even listen to that. Sounds like encore. Yeah, or curtain call. Or yeah, something. yeah, and and he loves Eminem. Like, so I mean, he looks like him. <laughs> what without <laughs> without the, when he when he tries some, sometimes. Yeah. So, so that's Dude, what I'm saying. Like, there's it. there's so many there's there's so many <laughs> there's so many projects that Eminem's put out. Even well, I don't know about Jay Z, but. Eminem especially that you know have not really lived up to his I guess legacy I guess I, I don't know but then there's like I feel I don't know what the album sales are but I wonder what the album sales are for his like recent albums now compared to like 2001 2004 all that stuff I wonder if he's getting more now because I feel like he is I feel like there's so many Eminem fans but they're just not like I feel like Eminem could just Eminem, Eminem could just do one-off songs and features for the rest of his career. I would do features if I was him. I will say this. And drop a cappellas like every exactly, every yeah. week. I think any I think any live performer today in rap Eminem is better than. You put Eminem up on the stage for that they they say it all the time. You get Eminem at your show, it becomes Eminem's show. Like if you go go and watch any of the videos when they bring Eminem out, spe- obviously, especially in Detroit, yeah. they had him rise from the floor. Yeah. And the second he starts rapping, the whole place is like, this is a whole different level. Yeah. Like, he erupts. See, right. but, but like, uh, that's like concerts now where it's, he's, I don't even know what he's rapping about. All of his, like, recovery stuff. But, like, back in the day, his concerts... Like he'd come out with a with a mask, a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, <laughs> and like, it's, it's just like a stadium you. of people. Yeah, and it was just well. Think think about the BET Awards, right? The the year that he was like blowing up, blowing up, and it was BET BET the whole time. And they have all all the rappers out there, and then boom, here comes the white boy. Is that and what the, he was crazy about Eminem is, bro? I, I look, I'm getting chills right now just thinking about that eruption in the fucking crowd, bro. Because it was that. Is that when he was in the Air Jordan jumpsuit? No, no, maybe. No, no, he was in all black, bro. He was, look, I got chills in my head, bro. <laughs> it was that legit. Like, you don't, like, it, there, there's, there's, there's a few, there's a few people in, in, in that sort of stardom that have ever made me think, like, can you imagine being that guy? Like, imagine being Eminem, right? Imagine being Ronaldo when he first stepped into, like, uh, in, into Real Madrid for the first time ever. Have you seen the, have you seen the documentary? You should, because you get a glimpse of, of, of like a first person view of what he saw and it was a coliseum i'm talking about football I fan i can't and it's that. just like bah, and you're just like that's all for just you bro can you imagine your ego imagine my ego now when i get like twenty thousand views on my fucking vlog <laughs> 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 uh, no, seriously, like and the weird thing about eminem is like i mean he is just he's the whitest version of white you know what i'm saying like he he is just a white boy like he is just a white boy at its core which is the craziest part yeah. It's like it's, yeah. it's 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 like un- unapologetically white is how white Eminem is, and it makes it that much crazier of a story. I'm gonna go watch Eight Mile right after this. Oh, that I, I mean, I still I Eight Mile and Get Rich or Die Trying. I both those movies are great. Get Rich or Die Trying is good. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I think Eight Mile is the better of the two. But Hustle and Flow is fucking fire. I don't know if I've seen uh, it. I, I haven't seen that for forever. You should. It's got the hot. Here for a pen. <laughs> Wendy trying to get some money on a ring. She's such a good actress. I don't know her name. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But but it's uh it's it's that level that, that we're talking about with Drake. Drake is in that same. Like, yeah, and that's why that. So whenever I made the statement, like obviously I didn't think everybody was going to agree. I would love to talk to other people about who they think the artist of our generation is because I would you know I could agree. I could understand. Yeah. But nobody wanted to do that. They just wanted to say, "I can't believe it's." I. But if you were to reply, you were like, "Yeah, I was just kidding, man." But yeah, I agree with you. Who? They'll, they'll start. Yeah, I was. Whenever you respond to fans, yeah, or yeah, yeah, people on Twitter, yeah, yeah, yeah. people on Twitter, they'll they'll, like, they'll turn real quick. Like, they'll either turn or they'll get worse. They'll be like, yeah. "No, nah, I don't, I don't even. You don't, you're not worth my time with." That's them. what I do now. As if that's what I that's what I reply with now. 
as if I would argue well, that was, with that you. That was my thing with the my, my, my clip got posted all over like Barstool, the, like when the rocket launch happened. And don't get me wrong, did I ham up a little bit for the stream? Yes, but was ninety five percent of that reaction completely genuine? Cause yes, that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in gaming. A thousand percent. Oh, I but, I did I watched it off stream and I. Th- I think it's recorded somewhere, or someone has it recorded. But like, I was off stream, and I was like, ah, "Oh, dude, what the fuck? that in that moment, like, obviously never experienced anything like that in gaming. Yeah. It's hard to bring it to Fortnite, but that was obviously so insane. But then also, like, in all those comments of the barstool stuff, like how much they, like people were roasting me, and then obviously I have the courageous trying to defend me in some of them. I saw some of the back and forths, but like I would see these people, like one of them got like a thousand likes, and it was like, God, imagine. Staying inside and not having a real job or something like that. I'm yeah. like, listen, <laughs> I just checked my Bank of America. It, this is it's a real job. job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get this mad. This is a real job. Don't get mad because I'm having fun while yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah, the direct came through. It's a real job. <laughs> I feel the same way. Like I, I feel this. I had an argument on on on, uh, on Facebook, and Facebook is private for me, and I, I just did that. But I, I, I stupidly, and I, I, I don't do this, but. I replied to somebody talking about how it was they were trying to justify the separation of families and the border. And it's like parents should have came here. I replied with like, well, let's use some common sense here. You know, let's not let's put parties aside. Let's use humanity. And stuff. Yeah. And then he's like, blah blah blah. You know, blah. blah. He said something about me. He's like uh, an American. I'm like, I I am an immigrant because I came from Mexico, but I was born in the United States. So I have like this very quick. Because I didn't come to the United States until I was 13. Not only that, but I can guarantee you, brother. That if you put how much money I've paid in taxes in comparison to what the fuck you're talking about, people not paying, <laughs> I paid for a lot of their 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 share in taxes, right? Because it's it goes that way. Let's not get into that. But that's what I was saying. Like I, I just don't understand when people get the last thing you do on the internet is throw money into the equation because nobody fucking cares, man. Nobody, literally, no one gives a fuck. So when somebody talks about job livelihood, some dude told Jude. Jude posted a picture of Olivia's gaming setup. And some fucking prick replies with, you know, going outside may you know is, is also healthy or like you shouldn't make. I was like, I was like, fucking prick, <laughs> fucking prick. Like you don't fucking you don't fucking know. You just fuck. She posted a picture, man. Shut the fuck up, bro. Like fuck, man. And Jude being Jude, she's like very kind. She replied like, positive. I'm like, baby, she's fucking roasting this fucking. Prick. <laughs> it's like it's like yesterday I tweeted. Uh, I wanted to stream all day, but. I, I, all right, this is my schedule yesterday. I woke up at like 7 a.m., looked what's on Uber Eats, saw Sonic. It's like, oh, well, that's different. I'll get that. <laughs> I got a burger. I got a burger, wings, a milkshake, and I just demolished it. You know when you're- And that ruined my day. Like, I, I was on the toilet toilet at least like 10 to 15 times. And, but what like- did you get? I, What did you get? What do you mean? Tweet. He just said uh, a burger, oh, a burger wings, <laughs> uh, tater tots. So the whole milkshake, th- everything. The milkshake's what did it? A soda. Yeah. And it just ruined my day. And I tweeted like I wanted to stream all day. Like I even like woke up early to stream all day. I was like I wanted to stream all day, but my stomach's been messed up. And someone replied like, "Ha ha, try saying that to a real job." <laughs> well, I said that to my boss. He told me to fuck off or something like that. And I just responded, "No." And then he responded with something else, but I just never responded. They don't understand the pressure. But more importantly, having a job, as difficult as it is when you have a, a boss and, and, and all that, that's that's so safe. It's so safe knowing that you have insurance. It's so safe that you have, like, a guaranteed paycheck. You can call out of work. You can not. When you're an independent, like, creator, if you don't show up to work, that's directly impact. You don't get paid. Yeah. If you, do, if you, don't, if you go to a job and you have a cool ass boss and you miss an entire week of of not working you still get paid because that's what it is if you miss a week as a creator you lose all the cheese all but that week now now i'm thinking now i'm thinking of it like what cuz people people will literally break down anything that you say online and and make a negative out of it that's that's just what that's how people are so you say that and they're like well if i call out of work that's my hourly pay so i don't clock in but they're talking about like retail jobs, but you're talking about like, if you have like an actual corporate corporate job. job. Yeah. So everything can be like, there's, it's so easy to have a platform to to say your opinion, no matter how terrible it is. And, uh, 
and make every situation negative. And guess what? You're fucking welcome to because it's the goddamn best place to be the internet, period. It changed everybody's life. You can hide or you can be public about who it is that, that, that is saying, but just know that you get more props when it's actually you and your face that's, that's, that's sending hate somewhere instead of hiding behind an egg and just like throwing and spewing hate to people. Yeah, so do I. Thank you, Internet, for changing my life. I would be... No, let's not even go there. Let's end it right here. Where are we at? Yeah, that's more than enough. You get, you guys have had more than enough for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week on more random topics. <laughs> <laughs>